Good day everyone, my name is Mahilan and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am at the RAF base of Darwin, Australia. First, let me tell you guys what is meant by RAF. RAF means Royal Australian Air Force and today I am here for a show hosted by Australian Air Force with many other Air Forces from different countries. There are a lot of warplanes, fighter jets, helicopters, army planes are here for exhibition and we are going to go and have a look at each of them one by one. Normally filming videos and taking photographs are not permitted in defense space but today we have an exemption as it is a show day. It is definitely going to be interesting guys. Make sure you are subscribed to our channel and hit the bell icon to watch videos like this and without further delay let's go inside. Look at that big helicopter opposite to us guys. That is the first aircraft we are going to see. The name of this aircraft is Eurocopter Tiger, an attacking helicopter. This one belongs to Australian Air Force. There is more information available on that board guys. Let's have a look at that now. ARH Tiger. This one was first delivered in 2004. The maximum speed of this helicopter is 315 km per hour. The weight, engine type, guns and ammunition details of this helicopter is mentioned below guys. There are people lined up to have a closer look at this helicopter guys. Let's wait for our turn. Look at those guys. They are the ammunition and missiles used on this helicopter. The small ones are the ammunition for the gun in the front and the big one is the missile. Yep, this is the Tiger. Yep. Australia's attack helicopter. Yeah, right. So how many people can travel in? Only car? two people can fly yeah. in this helicopter at the same time. The one sits on the front will be the pilot and the one sits on the back will operate the guns and the missiles. But both can control the helicopter. You can also see the missiles fixed in the wings of this helicopter guys. How old is this This one? has been used by Australian Air Force for 25 years and ready to celebrate its Silver Jubilee. So is this one is currently usable? Yeah, this, we flew it here uh, yesterday. Yeah, we'll right. fly back after this. You can see an open chamber in the front, guys. That is the chamber where ammunition for the gun in the front are loaded. Look at the size of this helicopter, guys. It's really huge. There are a lot of people here and taking photos with this chopper guys. Look at the kangaroo symbol on the body of this helicopter guys. That denotes this aircraft belongs to Australian Air Force. Look at the helmet and the other accessories here guys. Let's ask them what are they. Hey guy man. Good. So What's the purpose of this one? This is a pilot helmet for ARH Tiger guys. It is having display glasses which display about speed, altitude, weather, weapons info and other features of the helicopter easily to the pilot. It gets all the information from aircraft through these cables and inside the helmet is very soft and safe. And also having additional mirrors for pilots multitask. So that can be used both on helicopters, uh, aircrafts. Uh, so this is designed for us in the Tiger. Uh, designed for only for yeah, the Tiger. Yeah, right. Um, F-35 pilots do have something pretty similar to this, as well as um, uh, MH-90 as well. So oh. different Army helicopters, yep. as well as F-35. Yeah. Right. Very similar to this. But the basic technology is same. It's pretty much exactly yeah. right. When you look at the other helmet, that is also is an exact one? same it helmet, is. but it is not having any cover glasses or display. Place. Alright, thank you man. Now we have finished with that helicopter guys. Next we are going to see some old historical war planes. Let's start with this one guys. This one belongs to D. Havilland Tiger Moth A17640 model. It was manufactured for South Africa and currently used by Australia.
The next aircraft is North American T6 Texan. Its serial is NZ1090 and it belongs to Australian Air Force as well. Even though it was manufactured by a different country and having different flag on its body, belongs to Australia now. All information is in the description section guys. Look at this aircraft guys. You can see Australian Commonwealth symbol on its body and it is also having Rolls Royce symbol on it. This one belongs to CAC Mustang model A6851 series. The next one is having funny paint like a shark guys. This one is PAC CT4 Air Trainer model A19047 series. You can see the kangaroo symbol on the bottom guys. More information available on the description guys. Look at this aircraft. It is a bit different guys. Model is Beechcraft Baron Serial VH LAP. It belongs to Australia as well. Wow, look at this flight guys. This one belongs to Lakeland Army Airfield of US Army. This one is a Boeing Sturman Model 75. This one look colorful and the most beautiful one we have seen so far. Alright guys, next we are going to see the multi-role tanker planes and modern fighter jets from different countries. This one is a Gulfstream G550 which belongs to Singapore. You can see the lion symbol at the back guys. This is the number 18 flight Singapore is having and can be used to carry army and goods during war times. When you see this side coming past that flight, you can see there are other flights and jets from different countries guys. Let's go and have a look at each of them. This one is a CASA IPT NCN-235. This one belongs to New Caledonia, a French territory and it came all the way to Australia for a training called pitch black exercise. All the flights and jets from different countries are here in Darwin, Australia to participate that exercise pitch black. People are allowed to go inside this plane guys. Let's go inside and have a look. Oops, there are a lot of people inside this plane guys. Anyway, you can see the seating arrangement for the army inside. This is how they sit on each side and travel during war and training times. These batches and stickers are from French Air and Space Force. They are selling these here, guys. This one is a Dassault Rafale and it belongs to French Air Force, guys.
you can see a symbol of three circles in red, white and blue. It is called as Roundel of France and commonly used on military aircrafts. This fighter jet belongs to Japan guys. The model of this one is Mitsubishi F2. It is in a dark blue color and you can see the symbol of Japan on its body. The next aircraft belongs to India guys. It is a Sukhoi Su-30 MKI. It is developed by Russia and built under Indian license for Indian Air Force. It is a big long range fighter jet guys. You can see the Indian officers are explaining about it to the spectators. Moving on to the next one, you can see Indonesian Air Force is selling some t-shirts, caps and other things. This one is an F-16 Fighting Falcon guys. It was introduced in 1978 and still one of the powerful jets. Alright guys, on this side you can see a Lockheed Martin KC-130. Wow, look at the size of this plane guys, very huge. It is an extended range tanker version which belongs to the United States Marines. This is how the interior of a Martin KC-130 looks like. You can also see a flag of United States is hanging on the top. The next plane is a Douglas C-47 DC-3. It is also used to carry army and goods during war and training guys. It looks different to others and having beautiful turbine engines on both sides. It belongs to Australia guys. You can check out the description section for more information. Wow guys, look at this one. It is a A330 multi-role tango transport which is commonly called as MRTT. As this show is about to end, they have stopped allowing people inside. So I will cover only the outside of this Airbus guys. I would say this is the largest airplane here guys. Very very big one. Alright guys, the next one is a Voyager tanker which belongs to Royal Air Force of United Kingdom. Unfortunately, we can't get into this one too as they have stopped allowing people inside. Look at here guys, the German Air Force is here selling few batches and other things. As these guys belong to a troop called Bavarian Tigers, they have displayed a tiger too. Looks cute hey. Alright guys, the next one is a Eurofighter Typhoon belongs to Germany. You can see a pipe on the front of this jet that is used to feed fuel when it is flying in the sky guys. This jet is painted in different colors and very colorful guys. Let's ask about this from the officers. Uh, flag signs there. That's, uh, all the, yeah. There are flags of different countries indicated on this jet guys. It indicates the countries where this jet is traveling to and you can see it came from Germany, then to United Emirates, then Singapore, and now it is in Australia. Yeah, nice. Finishing here, it will go to Japan and then South Korea. Represent allies. 
no, 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 no. no. It's just the disc. It is painted fully and in the vertical stabilizer, yeah, yeah. you can see the root of this fighter jet, guys. If this uh, trip is over, you will just strip everything off. Usually the paint is staying for like one year and then it gets yeah, right. replaced by another. This was the painting of last year. Yep. Oh, okay. The middle one. And here on this board, they have more information about this jet, guys. This jet was painted with eyes of a tiger previously in an air show. The next jet is another Eurofighter Typhoon which belongs to United Kingdom. It looks like an old aircraft guys. All the details about every jet and plane here are in the description guys. Check it out below this video. Moving on to the next one guys. What do we have next is Singaporean Air Force and their fighter jets. This one is a McDonnell Douglas F-15 Eagle guys. You can see more details about this fighter jet on this board guys. Look at the maximum speed of this jet guys. It is Mach 2.5 and it means it can travel at the speed of 2.5 times of the speed of sound. The next one is an F-16 Fighting Falcon guys. This one is also a Singaporean jet and an advanced jet than the previous one. Alright guys, let's move on to the next section which is Australian aircraft. The first one we are looking at now is a Boeing 737 AWNC E7A Wedgetail. It is the world's most advanced, capable and reliable airborne early warning and control platform, having proven itself in operations around the world. You can see the radar and antenna on the top which are used to collect information on airspace, guys. Next, you can see a couple of Boeing EA-18G Growler guys. They are also serving for Royal Australian Air Force. On that side, you can see a Lockheed Martin F-35 Lightning II. Let's go and have a look at that closely. Wow, guys. Look at this F-35 Lightning II, the most advanced and powerful fighter jet in the planet currently. It is a fifth generation fighter jet and equipped with advanced network operations, maneuverability, enhanced sensor and improved agility. Alright guys, I bought a couple of budgets from today's show. One is from German A330 Airbus and the other one is from Australian Air Force. I'm going to keep them as a memory of this show. Alright guys, I reckon that's a wrap for this video. We came here to this rough show, roamed around and seen so many planes, helicopters, fighter jets and multi-role tankers. I hope you guys would have enjoyed this video and it would have been a visual treat for you guys. If you guys like this video, leave a thumbs up on this video. Please consider subscribing to our channel and hit the bell icon and I will see you all in another amazing episode. Till then, thanks for watching and take care.